platypus was incredibly impacted upon in Victoria during the millennium drought. Platypus require water because it's a critical resource. It's, it's, they, they need it to support their food supply, or the bugs and invertebrates that they eat. Um, they're specifically designed to, to live and forage in water. Uh, and it's really only in the last few years through the strategic uh, watering in terms of also the new technology that we've used or the, um, the water catchment authorities and Melbourne Water have used to be able to track the platypus and seeing the amazing benefits as you release water uh, down riverways in terms of the food source coming back. We know from the work we've been doing with um, CESA that the uh, environmental flow release was actually massively important to the uh, platypus population. Yeah, so I guess we're still learning a lot about platypuses, but one of the things that's been really clear over the last few years is that um, platypuses individually, they'll, their home ranges are several kilometres long, so they're not just localised animals. So to, to have a healthy population, um, it requires sort of large scale thinking, catchment scale uh, management practices. So flows are critical and having those connected waterways so the platypus can move freely, interact with other animals and, and, and be able to support a healthy population is really important. Um, from an environmental point of view, we work closely with the storage manager on, on how to manage those flows and we try to uh, attain the, obtain the best environmental outcomes um, for the river. So it's not enough just to have the water, it's important to understand how that change in flow throughout the year supports uh, healthy invertebrate populations. They like to eat, eat a lot, particularly uh, the females when they're lactating and they eat 80% of their uh, body weight when they're doing that. So platypuses in the Wimmera catchment declined pretty severely during the drought. The waterways there were, were, were really impacted because it is quite a dry area anyway. So the one area that we're now finding platypuses uh, a permanent population is due to the fact that there's been water released uh, along that river. Well, since we've had more environmental water available for environmental water releases in the Mackenzie River, the, we've been able to extend the reach of the Mackenzie River, which received water perennially or year round. And so um, in past years where that reach would dry out and the platypuses would disappear from that reach, we can continue the flows there in the drier months. One of the other critical resources for platypus is the ability to burrow into banks. So when they're not in the water, they're in their burrows resting, raising young, um, recovering for the next day, and also hiding from predators. If there wasn't any environmental water releases for a period of a few weeks, for example, the reach would dry out. Platypus for us are a very key indicator of the health of waterways and understanding their popula populations and their locations, and we can actually then enhance our waterway improvements for the platypus. Platypus are really important to our local community. They have a real connection with it. Um, we're always getting reports coming through to us of platypus, and certainly when you speak to landholders out along the river, um, one of their highlights is when they see platypus swimming along their stretch of the river. 